Hello, welcome to your educative card. This is Shamrita Dash, and today we will learn about the modal can and could. Okay? See, can and could is used for various functions. For example, ability, polite request, permission and order, prohibition and offer, possibility, and the use of could plus have. That denotes past ability. That means an action that could have taken place but did not take place. Okay? So see, in case of ability, an example can be she can write English well. That means she has the ability to write well. Maybe she does not write it out of laziness but she can write well. Okay? Polite request. Could you lend me some money? Please. Okay? So, you are requesting someone to lend you something. Of course, it's money. So, it's a matter of very seriousness. So, you cannot be impolite. You cannot demand. You have to be polite. Okay? So, could you lend me some money? Permission and order. You can go now. You can take my book. So, in this, you are ordering someone to go away. You can go now. But in this, you are permitting someone to take your book. So, permission and order can be given with can and can. Right. Prohibition and offer. You cannot enter the room. Prohibition meaning, I told you in the earlier video, that it means something that you are not supposed to do. So, something that you are banned from, barred from. Okay? So, prohibition and offer, this example can be, you cannot enter the room. So, you are not permitted to enter the room. Okay? Can I help you? So, you are offering to help someone. Okay? So, can is used and can is used here to define prohibition and offer. Now, see, possibility. That means that something can occur or might occur. Right? So, she could be his wife. Seeing a person, we cannot be certain who that person is in relation to the other person standing beside them. Right? So, we think of several possibilities that can happen. If it's a man, we say that she could be his wife. If it's a small child, we can say she could be his mother or her mother. Right? So, by the help of could, we are making a possibility that something could be. Okay? So, he could be 40. So, by seeing a man or a woman, suppose we want to guess their ages. So, they might look like to be 40. So, we say he could be 40 or she could be 40. Okay? How to use could with have? This form is used when we want to describe past ability. That means certain things that could have taken place but has not. And so, we are regretting it now. Right? I could have passed if I had worked harder. Right? So, we are wishing, we have failed the examination. So, we are wishing now, maybe I could have worked harder. So, I could have passed. So, could have denotes an action that could have happened in the past. But it did not happen. And we are regretting it. Okay? In the next video, we will learn about must not, must and all that. And in respective videos, we will learn about something else too. This is it for today. Please like, share, comment and click the bell option for notification. Subscribe to Virginal Bell Creative on this logo. And see there is an exercise in the description box for you to practice. Thank you.